take us back to that night where you're performing both an abortion, suffocating a baby in a bucket, as well as trying to save. So what? To just yeah. I mean, you've shared a little bit, but what did that do no, to you? No, no, sure. What happened after that? So, um, imagine <laughs> the lead up to this is that, oh, by the way, I'm volunteering at a pregnancy center once every two weeks at night. A pregnancy center, mm -hmm. pregnancy resource center. It's down in Witch Duck Road in Virginia Beach. That's where it was run by a, basically the Assembly of God Church. Mm -hmm. Hold hands, dear Jesus, whoever comes in tonight, we just pray that we can help them see that the life inside them is truly God. one of theirs and that the Lord God may take them. them and save them and praise the Lord for this and we're <clears> going to do our best. I loved it, but I was a worm. I didn't tell them that I, yes, I told them I was an OBGYN. They were thrilled. I didn't tell them I was aborting children as part of my residency. I didn't tell them that I thought children were sexually transmitted diseases. I was a worm. <laughs> Why did you go? Because I saw a pregnancy center, pregnancy help center. And remember, I was just as good at helping s keep babies than ending the life of the child, the fetus, mm. both and. Yeah, depending on what she and, wants. Correct, because I was serving what the world said is true. Life begins at the mother's desire and the health of the fetus. If the fetus is sick, oh no, eugenically, we get rid of all that. Because I was doing those too. Now, I'm up at the pregnancy center. I'm going to the Assembly of God Church once, and I'm like, wow, this is interesting. They believe in the power of the Holy Spirit, good music, you know. This is interesting. I go back, and uh, that night when that baby comes out, and I, you know, thought about ending its life, so it didn't make paperwork, so it mm. didn't, you know, this is common today. I had to, once the baby was over 500 grams, I had to hit the button on the wall and bring in the intensive care nursery. We call it the NICU, neonatal, around the time of birth intensive care unit, mm -hmm. NICU. In walks Dr. Debbie Plum. Brilliant, sharp, demanding, and Catholic. She comes in and goes, she quickly assesses and goes, she knew what I did. Hey, stop treating my patients as tumors. The witness statement. <laughs> Middle of the night, Stop treating my patients as tumors. And oh, by the way, have coffee with me tomorrow. And then she went and took care of the child, intubated, meaning... This is the one you were trying to suffocate, or yeah. began to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This, is, this, is, this is the aborted, this is the failed abortion. Okay. The child who survived my attempt at ending the pregnancy and yeah. ending its life. Okay, all right. They come in, they call their people, they bring the little incubator in, the intubation occurs, all the people are working on this little child, 505 grams, 450 grams is a pound, pound and two ounces maybe, translucent skin, no hair, moving its arms, trying to squeak. She walks out of the room with her team and that child goes into the nursery to be resuscitated. After I didn't monitor it, I treated it as a tumor. And that's what got me. So here I am. Now I have to have coffee with this person tomorrow morning. I go find her. Should we have coffee? She goes, hey, John, you're excellent, man. In your clinic, you make house calls. In your clinic, they wait in line for you. In your clinic, you listen to your patients. In your clinic, and we hear it. We hear about, we hear about this. What the hell are you doing? What? Why did you induce that woman? She didn't want it. John, so your definition of life is based on someone else? Hasn't history shown us that that's like not a real healthy thing to do? <laughs> oh, by the way, I know I'm Catholic and I think you used to be. I know you didn't talk about it much, but um, you need to go to Medjugorje. 
I just got back with Steubenville University, <laughs> and uh, it changed my life, and it mm. really made a difference in my life. You need to go. Ah, I'm not sure I do that anymore, <laughs> uh, Debbie, uh, but I'll take it. Now, in reality, I'm fracturing. They tell me that abortion is safe. Mm -hmm. And yet the data is coming in, abortion and breast cancer, abortion and preterm birth, abortion and mental illness, mm. abortion and damaged cervixes. The data is coming in. Uh, no, but I thought it was safe. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like and subscribe.